Welcome back to Cindy's Library. This is Cindy. Apologize for missing last week. Uh, I was actually out of town and then came back for a call with a cold. So couldn't, well, it would not have been good for me to have tried filming on Monday or earlier this week. But I am back and I am ready to talk about the rest of what I read in the month of April. So, let's get to it. Oh, and I apologize if my voice is still weird. Doing much better, but, well, you know how colds can affect voices. But, to start out with, I did Red, Finished, Then Her by Lou Wallace. Oh, this is the exciting story. Well, actually, we start the story earlier than you might expect with the three magi. Then we go some years later, we meet Judah, uh, then Judah, then her, and uh, he is falsely accused for trying to kill a centurion in Jerusalem passing. Was it a centurion or someone even more important? I think it was someone even more important. In any case, though he sent uh, to be a galley slave on a Roman ship, life expectantly expectancy there is not long but he manages to survive and he saves uh, the war leader in charge of not only the ship but the armada and they're attacking pirates so he gets adopted gets everything he wants and he wants some revenge at least at first Lots of exciting things happen. If you've seen anything from the famous 1950s movie at all, probably remember the famous Chariot Race, which is indeed in here, but there's a lot more to the story. There's two potential love interests for Ben-Hur. Uh, you get to worry about his mother and sister. And... Oh, we get glimpses into the life of Christ, so quite glad I read it. So good. Then next, I read oh, the two first Artifactor books in the Artifactor series by Honor Raconteur. She is a fun author, and she has a fun, uh, she has fun characters. This one features particularly Silvana. So I read The Child Prince and The Dreamer's Curse. In uh, The ch Child Prince, well, Silvana is an artifactor. She has magic that's not particularly powerful or anything like that, so she's not a sorceress or a magician or anything like that. But she does have some magic, and what she is is very clever, which is why she's an artifactor. For being an artifactor, uh, you need to know about uh, different locations, geography, history, languages, how to create things. Artifactors are the ones who primarily create or make for many magicians potions, magical tools. They're also extremely good at solving puzzles, which is good because Silvana gets talked into by her best friend uh, slash business partner into kidnapping the prince who was cursed 
some 10 years earlier. Uh, he was 13 at the time, but the curse made him start de-aging, and before uh, anyone could do anything, he was 8 years old, and he would have died had he not been placed under a stasis spell. And he's basically been uh, hidden from public ever since. And the kingdom is not going well at all. Uh, which we find out reasons for later. But Savannah ordinarily doesn't take much of an interest in politics, but even... Uh, something like a badly run country is going to affect her. So she kidnaps the prince, decides to break the curse, takes that while, number of twists and turns. Oh, say roughly half of the viewpoint is from the prince's perspective, not Sylvanas, but fun times. And then the dreamer's curse is exactly what it says. Uh, town uh, starts going to sleep and every night at least someone from the town will end up uh, away from the town. Sometimes it's not that far away, sometimes it is extremely far away and they come to Sylvana for help. So <coughs> Oh, I find these fun. What can I say? Let's see. I also finally finished um, Timon of Athens by Shakespeare. It is a tragedy. In fact, looking in here, uh, no... No subtitle or anything, as there are with some of Shakespeare's plays. It is about Mount no, Timon of Athens. The play, he starts out extremely rich guy, uh, extremely generous, uh, helps people with money problems all the time, great patron of the arts. Everyone loves him. The problem is, as his steward continually tries to get him to pay attention, that he doesn't want to listen, is that he's been spending so much that he's actually just about out of money. And when that happens, well, let's just say it is a tragedy. It's very sad, actually. But I am glad that I read it. And as much as it is a virtue to be generous, it still needs to be done in wisdom and order. Then, the Literary Life podcast, we read uh, Tartuffe by Moliere. A play by a Frenchman, 16th or 17th century, I think. Mm, 17th century. Uh, across the English Channel, they were having the English, well, they were under the protectorate for at least some of his life. So, anyway, Tartuffe. Is a play. It is a comedy. Actually banned. Uh, because, well, it shows a family. And the father and patriarch of this family has been extremely influenced by this Tartuffe. Uh, it is a beggar. He's not actually uh, in religious orders or anything, but he acts like a holy man. And he has his father of the family wrapped around his finger. Most of the rest of his family doesn't approve or agree with this, but he's the head of the family. 
and one thing leads to another and comes for a head, comes to a head. Um, another equally applicable title he could have used is hypocrite, because that is exactly what Tartuffe is. There's hilarious scenes in this, but talking about all of these themes of what is real piety versus pretended piety and hypocrisy, um, showing wisdom, checking on things, and plenty of family relations. You have the son who's supposed to inherit everything, of course. You have the daughter who's engaged. She had the stepmother who has her own ideas and the grandmother and the uncle. Everyone who has some ideas about Tartuffe. Most of them are that he is indeed a hypocrite, but not quite all of them. Very fun. Would read more Moliere. So glad I got it. Anyway, <sighs> That is what I read to finish up April with. How's your April reading gone? Love to hear about it. Thank you so much for stopping by. Truly do appreciate it. And until next time, I hope we all stay safe and healthy. And as always, happy reading.